Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 13th of January. Frigid cold is the story this morning, but we see a light at the end of the tunnel in terms of this uh, Arctic blast. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots early this morning at the somewhat insane hour of 5 o'clock. First off, coming from Gadsden. Still a pretty good snow cover on the ground up on the mountain there. That's the uh, uh, sky cam uh, just above the city. And uh, still snow covered, still cold. There's the uh, trustful sky cam, still snow covered there. Of course, the roads are mostly dry in the uh, Birmingham metro, which is good. And again, that's a fun camera to watch these days. That's the Mount Cheeha sky cam, totally covered in snow and ice up on that big mountain. Here's our water vapor satellite shot. That big storm is over for New England. Lifting northeast, still got a northwest flow aloft here. At the surface, the uh, Arctic High is centered right smack dab over Little Rock, Arkansas. So overnight, we still had a north wind. Uh, the wind will not go calm until tonight. So the wind has kept temperatures up a little bit. In fact, uh, Gadsden and Anniston did not reach the teens. They're warmer than forecast. Not that anybody's griping. Uh, but again, some clouds in the wind over there kept numbers very consistent all night long. And the same thing for Cullman. But away from the clouds and where the wind was lighter, we are in the teens. Uh, Tuscaloosa, it's 17. Haleyville, 16. Birmingham, 18. We think tomorrow morning will be colder. Uh, Mid-teens for most folks. But again, we'll be watching those uh, colder pockets up in northeast Alabama for any sign of somebody up there maybe reaching the single digits up around uh, Valley Head or someplace like that. Uh, there's the uh, numbers around the nation. Looks like the uh, cold pocket is up around Kansas City and Des Moines, where they're sitting at about two below zero. And again, you can see more cold air in uh, Canada. Looks like 12 below zero up there, kind of getting set to nose down across the um, uh, Canadian border up there near Montana. We'll keep an eye on that. There's the uh, QPF chart. This is the overall rain expected for the next five days, valid through Monday evening at 6 o'clock. And uh, this is suggesting... Rainfall amounts of about one-half inch for North Alabama. Amounts a bit lighter to the south. Heavier totals west of here, 1.2 inches the bullseye out there around Monroe, Louisiana. There's our watch warning map. Pretty quiet around the nation this morning. The big storm, the blizzard for Boston is over. Still got winter weather advisories for the Appalachians where they keep having this uh, these uh, snow showers, this northwest flow of loft stuff. That'll be winding down later today. So let's look at the modeling here. This is the 06Z GFS. And this is valid at uh, 12 noon today. Northwest flow aloft down below that. The surface high is on the Texas-Louisiana border. And it's still breezy today. And it's still cold. And, uh, you know, yesterday temperatures were considerably uh, colder than forecast. In fact, the uh, high in some spots, only about 25 in northeast Alabama. The GFS is showing 31 today. So, again, more than likely, we'll stay below freezing all day. Tomorrow, we start the day uh, pretty cold. Uh, the, the new GFS is showing a low of 10 degrees. we got a, actually a huge model spread. The GFS is showing 10, and the NAM is showing 20. That's a big spread. Uh, we think the low will be in the... 12, 13 degree range for most places, but again, some single digit lows, very possible for uh, northeast Alabama, but we start to warm up during the day, and that's exciting. How about mid-40s? We'll take that. There's uh, Saturday starting off the weekend. The warming trend continues, uh, looking at uh, mid, low and mid-50s on Saturday, still mostly sunny, and then Sunday, again, uh, the the Weather stays dry. Clouds will likely increase, but we don't expect any rain. We'll go to Monday. Pretty good-looking Vortmax out there around the Arklatex. And down below that, rain shows up mainly west of the state. The latest run here, a little slower with the uh, uh, rain coming in here. And then we'll go to Tuesday of next week, and then we go wet. Uh, surface low north of us, and we might have some thunderstorms with that look, if that's right. So we'll still mention a chance of showers Monday and Tuesday, maybe some thunder. And then Wednesday of next week, all of a sudden, the GFS looks colder. You know, uh, this model madness. We had fully expected uh, 
colder air to drop in here Wednesday, and both the GFS and the European finally went warm on us, and we kind of gave up. Well, look, now it's back. That's the way it works sometimes. And uh, down below that, very cold air nestling in here for Wednesday of next week, and the European's in pretty good agreement now with the GFS, and then it turns colder. So we'll nudge the numbers down again. Don't want to flip-flop too much. And that's not harshly cold like it is today, though. And then a week from today, still cold and dry. And on uh, Friday the 21st, you know, not that cold. And on the 22nd, not that cold. So, again, uh, the, the, there's very low confidence in how this last Arctic blast evolves, how cold it's going to be and when exactly it happens. Just be aware toward the middle or end of next week or the following weekend, we'll probably hit one more cold shot in the series, and then things should uh, ease up for the end of the month. There's the 28th, and there's the uh, split flow with the uh, northern branch way up in Canada. I mean, well north of here. Got a southern branch with no cold air, cold air involved. That looks uh, pretty quiet right there, if that's right. And again, there's the uh, uh, North Atlantic Oscillation down there at the bottom. You can see how it definitely goes positive in about uh, 10 to 15 days, and that should mean somewhat milder weather or not as cold as it has been. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.